It's time for The Epic Show with your host, The Epic Texan. Hey guys, what's up? This is the Epic Texan, host of the Epic Show. I'm here at the 19th Hall, and I've got some very special guests with us. This is Noyola. You guys, you want to introduce yourselves? Yeah. I'm Greg. Play guitar. Chuck. Paul, I'm lead singer. All right, so yeah, we're here with Noyola. We're gonna we're gonna ask him some questions so that way you fans out there can you know get a bit you know as far as where they come from and whatever. Uh, let me ask you this question first. Uh, how did the band start out and begin together? I guess we could go back to like uh, 2005, mid 2005, that area, that that time frame. Um, I was in a band in the Southeast Texas area, and uh, Gray and Josh were playing in a band uh, also. And um, man, I saw these guys all over the place. Uh, shared the stage with them a lot of times at different venues, the same venues, and uh, that's where I first got to meet these guys. Yeah. Uh, after our band at that time, it dissolved, we got together and started playing music again. Like the first person we think of that wanted to be the singer for our band was that guy who's just a killer singer, killer, killer singer. Not to toot his own horn, but to toot. He is an asshole. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's a good guy. I mean, just a whole ass. What's we'll just say? <laughs> Alright, uh, so. Collectively, how long have you been a band, you know, as far as this program, project? Two, two and a half years. Sounds good for me. I think about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Uh, All right. Um, your new album, So Tomorrow, um, as far as, like, the writing progress and, you know, deciding what tracks, you know, how did that come together? Well, we actually uh, recorded the album ourselves, and uh, Gray engineered it, and uh, we all kind of had a hand at producing it, and... Uh, that process allows you to have a lot more creativity and a lot more time to do the things you want to do throughout the process of it. But it also allows you to drag your feet on it a lot more. So we started the album over a year ago and um, took our time, really took our time with it. And uh, we got the tracks finished a few months ago and got the product out just this last month, or this last week rather. And, um, and we're really proud of it. It's like over a year's worth of work, but that's it. Yeah, I've been uh, noticing a lot of bands have been doing that, you know, and honestly, I think that's really important because you don't want to rush it because if you rush it too much, you know, you might not get the sound that you want out of it. But um, as far as everything else, um, well, let me ask you this. Uh, you got a music video out also for uh, Shape to Break. Right. Uh, how did that come together? Just uh, one day, we just decided we were going to do a music video and got our video camera out and uh, we did that ourselves also. That was completely self-produced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think today, you know, you have such the ability with the tools available now to do your own stuff that you can really uh, record your own your own music and your own videos and put it out there on the internet for everybody and uh, it, it, that's perfect for a band you know, like us and our best band out there. I think it's it's very important at this time for a band to be uh, self sufficient, self efficient in taking care of that stuff now because it is so easy. Really, bands have no excuse with the tools. The, there's so many free tools and are readily available tools to be able to put stuff together and make that. You know, there's, there's no excuse. You know? I guess bottom line is when you can do it yourself. And you don't have to pay somebody to do it, especially when you don't really have the, the budget to do it, to pay someone. If you can do it yourself and you have the tools to do it yourself, do it yourself. Uh, and, that, and that's what we like to do. Right. That's awesome. Um, individually, like, what are your favorite songs to play live? Wow. Wow. That's tough. Um, don't give me Every Every now and then, I'll, I'll pull the acoustic guitar out and play an uh, acoustic song in the set. Personally, I like I like doing that. Uh, but that's where I come from. That's what I started out doing when I was in my early teens. And so I don't get to do that that much that often anymore. So whenever I do, I really enjoy those moments playing the acoustic guitar, just doing some acoustic stuff. So, but not to take away from what we do as a band either. Uh, with them, my heart's broke. <laughs> one of my favorite songs. Um, and it's it's hard to pick between the songs because they're all you know 
with such personal works that we're doing now, uh, you know, you, they're like each individual children of, of, of you, right. you know, and, and they're so special to you, each individual. Our kids are like bastard children. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But off of this new album, uh, some of my favorites are Shape to Break and Pseudo Shadow, right. Collapse, yeah. Collapse to Breathe. Right. Those are probably some of my some of my favorites. Uh, not to, you know, put the others down right, in right. any way, but... Personally, for me as a vocalist to sing, I love to sing those songs. Uh, you know, because of the, the harmonies that we have in them and the guitar work that comes back behind them. They're just really, you know, solid tunes. Right on. That's, as a guitar player, collapse and ring is the most easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Changes on a daily basis for me. <laughs> right. So what's yours for today? It really does. Well, we actually played earlier today, and I really had a blast. Frail to be our 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 lead off song. Uh, I don't know. It's just always it's a good ass kicking song. It gets the mood set right off the bat. Of it's just a fun song. <laughs> All right, well, once again, this is Noyola. I am the Epic Texan, host of the Epic Show. You'll be hearing these guys a lot through our shows. You can listen to Monday and Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. this year. If you want for more information, check out the links in the description below. And as always, stay epic. And our drummer's behind the camera. Yeah, he's right yeah. there. <laughs> somebody, somebody give our drummer That's the drummer right there. It's just a hand. It's nothing else. It's just a hand. <laughs>